episode. In this episode, I'm testing out Mini Bang for the iPhone. As you can tell, it looks exactly like uh, the iPad edition, but slightly different UI from the iPad. So let's get started. Now I'll go to the plus sign to add a new or the picture is where you can export use your own uh, pictures and whatnot. So let's start with a new one. <clears throat> this is kind of interesting that I never noticed for MIDI being on the iPad. Device, uh, let's go back. Device size. That actually is the, the dimensions for my iPhone. It would be kind of cool to see what it would look like on the 7 and the 6 Plus. So yeah, uh, but on this one, I'm going to use device size just for demonstration. And <laughs> if you're used to mini being on the iPad, it doesn't look like this at all. But you're probably wondering, where's the color swatcher? Well, if you swap right here, there's your color swatcher. Now, let's see. <clears throat> now, if you're familiar with Medibang, it has the materials that you can actually use to make, a, you know, comic stuff. I'm not going to get into it. Maybe next episode or many episodes later on, but uh, this is just for introducing Medibang. So let's see, there's that. Then there's layers, my favorite thing for the iPad. Pretty much it looks exactly like the iPad version, but uh, <clears throat> on a smaller scale. Pretty much it has everything and you're, you're probably wondering what that 3D is. Well, that's for synchronizing styluses, you know, like for, you know, like, not the, not the Apple Pencil, but um, anything that is Bluetooth enabled, you can actually do it. And I was testing out, I did a video on this stylus. This is like my, how I, like, ten dollar stylus. It's pretty cool. <clears throat> it actually works pretty well on it actually. Let's see what else. And what I noticed with this circle, if you uh go up and down, it'll actually do the size, which is it took me a while to do that, you know, to figure that out. But it's actually pretty interesting. Then on top of here, you, you can s scroll different uh, options, which is pretty cool. And this right here, this is pretty cool. And you can just uh, zoom out and you just draw just like you normally would on any other program. You're probably wondering where are all the tools? If you press the, the paintbrush, Here's all the tools. Pretty much everything that has that's on Mini Bing for the iPad and for the Mac and the Windows. <clears throat> but since these are all mobile, you're not really you don't really have that much feature. <clears throat> but according to this and iPad, this is probably less feature wise for the iPhone, but pretty much they all crammed it all into one one uh, one thing, so that's pretty cool. So let's get the eraser tool. Uh, now that I could actually make my own uh, desktop to my iPhone, that's pretty cool. And I might just uh, make an Etsy store and just sell my 
creations on there. I'm going to do that on the iPad too as well. So it's pretty cool. I like I like Mini Bing. Mini Bing is I don't care what anyone else says. Mini Bing is completely free. If you don't like using Photoshop, well, this is I always tell people if you don't like using Photoshop or you don't have Photoshop is to use Medibang because it has layers. Of course, I know you could use GIMP. I know that you could use uh, Krita. I know you could use, um, what is that other drawing program on Windows? There's so many different ideas, but this is, when I first heard about uh, Medibang on the iPad and the and Windows and Mac, I just jumped on it because it was nice and free. And this, compared this to Pixelmator, I really like both Photoshop, Medigwing, and Pixelmator, each to their own. I like Medigwing for, for the ease of use I mean, it took me a while to, to understand it, but I'm pretty much familiarized with the Photoshop and with Medibang. And with Medibang, you can actually submit your art to to Medibang, so you can actually, you know, win money and all that kind of stuff. Pretty cool. I mean, let me show you. And to close out, just there. And right here, you can actually see people's people's artwork. Check them out. See, this is probably all done on the iPhone. Probably on the iPad too, but. By the looks of it, this one's pretty cool. This is just exactly like on the iP iPad, but this is probably optimized for the iPhone. For for all the credit that I showed you on Medibang, I give you all credit for showing your art. This is only a demonstration for Medibang, so you made it into my video. Anyway, I'll talk to you all later, and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, you're still here. Click or tap on my face to subscribe to my channel. And just click or tap anywhere on the screen if you want to see past videos or whatever I like to show here. Again, thanks for watching.